entity relationship model is a topic in this session. We also call it as ER model. Entity is something which has got an independent existence in an enterprise and relationship means how the multiple entities are getting related. So, that is the origin of this entity relationship model. So, let us go for the detailing on this ER model along with some examples. So, entity relationship model is a type of database model based on the notion of real world entities and the relationships among them. So, real world entities I told you that entity has got some existence in the enterprise. We can map real world scenario onto ER database model. ER model creates a set of entities with their attributes and set of constraints and relations among them. With each and every entity some set of attributes are connected. Depending upon the values of some attributes an entity can be identified uniquely. So, whenever we are having alike entities then collection of them will form the entity set. So, let us suppose we are having one student. So, in, in our college admission system student is one entity, one course is one entity, one teachers respective details will be one entity. So, in case of student admission system or say in case of college administration system, so there we are having multiple entities coming in that way. So, with a particular student as student is one entity say roll number, name, age, gender, email address, phone number, contact address and so on. So, these are the different attributes are there. So, ER model is best used for conceptual design of database and ER model can be represented as follows. Entities will be represented in the form of a rectangle, this attributes will be represented in the form of ellipse and this relationships will be represented in the form of this diamond and these lines are showing the links between them. So, here we are having two entities, each one of them are having two attributes, obviously it is not mandatory that entities connected should have the same number of attributes, it can have 5 attributes, it can have 50 attributes, so that is not a problem and this relationship is actually connecting this entity and with that entity. So, entity is an entity in ER model is a real world being and which has some properties called the attributes and every attribute is defined by the corresponding set of values called the domain. So, domain is nothing but a set of values from where you can pick up one value to instantiate one attribute. So, domain means actually the set of values from where you can pick up one value to initialize one attribute. For example, consider a school database here a student is an entity, student has various attributes like name, id, age and class etcetera. So, now we are going for the relationship that means this one there is a diamond shaped box is there. The logical association among entities is called relationship. So, relationships are mapped with entities in various ways mapping cardinality define the number of associations between two entities. So, here we can have the mapping cardinality, actually we are having basically four different mapping cardinalities that is one to many, many to one, one to one and many to many. So, here we are having the respective mapping cardinalities, we have described that one here. So, now let us go for a, some examples to explain how this mapping cardinalities are working. So, here we are having this one to many, whenever we are having one there this arrow will be coming. Whenever we are having many, there will be no arrow. Consider this one many to one. So, here many is having no arrow, but one is having arrow. So, that means one customer can have multiple number of loans and against one loan there is only one customer connected. That means this bank can provide multiple parallel personal loans because against one loan there will be one customer, so personal loan against one customer there will be multiple loan numbers. So, multiple parallel personal loans can be provided. So, consider this one multiple customers against one loan. So, against one customer there will be one loan against one loan there will be multiple customers. That means, here it provides the joint loan there is a group loan this bank issues, but a customer who is having one of the loans cannot have the another parallel loans because it is many, but it is one. So, against one customer name there will be one loan against one loan number 
there will be multiple customers name. Now let us consider this one as one to one. So both sides arrows are there. So that is one to one. So it depicts that one customer can have a single loan and only one loan at a time. So many to many means multiple customers, multiple loans. So that means that this particular bank issues parallel personal loans or group loans at the same time. So in this way you have described what is the entity relationship model with some proper examples and what are the different symbols we are going to use to represent and to draw this entity relationship model. Thanks for watching this video. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.